Hello everyone, in this tutorial about Blender and Substance Painter I'll show you how to model a kind of leather belt part and add stitches to it while texturing. First I create the model with Blender. I start with a plane and extrude further parts with edge selection. When I have created the basic shape, I add a solidify modifier, then I move the edges of the model to create a shape that looks realistic for a leather material. After that I add a subsurface modifier and insert edge loops to create sharper edges. At the end I switch to sculpting, select the grab brush and carefully adjust the shape of the model to make it appear more natural. I won't do UV unwrapping manually, but simply use the smart UV project. I think this will be good enough for texturing this mesh. Finally, I select the mesh in object mode and export it as FBX. Okay, let's get to texturing with Substance Painter. First I create a new project and add the FBX. Then I bake the textures with 2K resolution. After that I select a stitches brush and reduce the spacing of the stitches a little bit. I set the material to use only the height channel and increase the height level to maximum. Now I draw the lines of stitches by first determining the starting point with the left mouse button click and then I hold the shift key down and click to define the endpoint of the line. To produce straight lines for particular areas like these round ones here, I changed the alignment of the brush from tangent planar to camera.
Once I'm done with drawing the stitches, I export this height information as normal map. Then I import it back into my project and assign it as my normal map. After that I baked the textures again, but of course not the normal map. For these textures such as curvature or ambient occlusion, the generated normal map is now taken into account and for example smart materials or generators can use this information. I will disable my stitches layer now because the information is baked into the normal map. I add a stylized leather material and the stitches look nice and realistic because this smart material makes use of the baked textures when computing height or curvature. Ok guys, that's it for this tutorial, I hope you like it and if you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss the next one. And please consider supporting the development of my tutorials by being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thanks for watching this and see you soon on JNM.